Yar mateys, I be Captain Smith. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, wait a minute. Wrong channel. Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome back to uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Um, big excite, big excite. Uh, so a little close to my face there. Um, oh, it shows if you have the cards or not. That's cool. Um, uh, so last time I got my ass beat twice by the same dude. Um, I might head back a little bit, see if I can backtrack, maybe find a new item or something, something to boost my defense, because I got my ass, like, ow, re I might be here like three, four, five, six levels early, I don't know. Um... My boy Nathan here. Actually, there's I've only known two Nathans in my life. One of them in school. He was actually a really cool dude. Um, and then another one at work right now who actually I believe just put in his two weeks. I caught him several times making uh like he was staring at my wife uncomfortably because she works at Lowe's with me. Just like. You know how dudes look at women when they find them attractive? That. But, like, several times. So, I asked him to kind of cut it out. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to offend you or anything. I, it, 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 and I'm like, all right, just just, just let's let's cut it that out, yeah? And it, it wasn't just Michaela. It was a couple other, many other women. Um... Sticky situation, and then the rumor went around that I was going to beat the shit out of him, which I wasn't going to do, unless, you know, he tried something worthy of that response, but, I mean, the dude seems harmless enough, he's just creepy. Hey, I leveled up! It's like that thing where it's like, you know, he's a kind of a, kind of a creepy, creepier acting dude, but, like, he's not, like, harmful or anything. That doesn't mean my guard went down, that just means... Hello... Boom. HP, that's actually really good. Alright. So, my boy AJ's texting me. Um, I'm DMing. Uh, a massive session. Not session. Campaign. For, I think, eight people? Right? I think that's right. Ethan, AJ, Brandon, Michaela, Kendra, Sarah. Ethan, AJ, Jarrett. Ethan, AJ, Jarrett, Brandon. Michaela, Sarah, Kendra. That's seven. Oh, and I'm the eighth person. That's where the eight's coming from. So seven people. Seven seven person group. Um. And I'm juggling a... I don't want to call him a DMPC because I don't really like that, but he is my player character from when I took over from the old DM because the old DM got fired from our place of, of work because he was sexually harassing uh, oh, half a, over half a dozen women. But, see, we, he was DMing for us for, like, seven months. And, uh, we really got attached to the campaign and the story. And, uh... Um... We were like, well, we... We were talking about it, and I was like, uh... We need two things. A new DM and a new place to do it, because we would do it over at his place. And AJ, now, me, myself, Sammy, and Michaela, my wife, we are moving into our own place in November. However, at the time this all happened, we did not know that. So, AJ was like, let me talk to my mom. So we actually play over at his mom's place. His mom is a really cool person. 
Like, we, her and I have watched vampire movies together. She's cut and dyed Michaela's hair. She's a wonderful human being. She's a, she's a national treasure that needs to be preserved. Um, and I mean that. I'm not just saying that for, like, the memes. Like, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. Um, I, I mean, I genuinely mean that. Um, well, here's the thing, though. Uh, we needed a DM as well. And I was like, I mean, AJ doesn't know, or at the time didn't. He's since DM'd a one-shot that went incredibly well. Uh, I encourage people to DM one-shots and stuff, so that way everyone can kind of get the experience they might want. Uh, can't hurt. Um, I'm trailing all over the place. Uh, well, I volunteered to be DM. And I'm like, I'm not going to let my character go. I've crafted this whole thing for him. I got this whole arc ready, and I was like, but I'm not going to DM it for myself. That's weird. Even now, like, we just introduced a villain who was going to initially be interested in Don Ray. Don Ray's my vampire character. He's a vampire half-elf, rogue. And, uh, oh, wait, I can go up there, can I? Um, he's no longer going to be interested as much because, like, who wants to, like, roleplay a character with yourself? It's weird. Son of a bitch, are you serious? Wait, didn't I get cards? Oh! Magical power lies within the gauntlet. Oh. Fine, I guess. How much? I need one experience point to level up. <laughs> oh. Hello. This whole thing, I've done seven minutes and it's been nothing. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. I feel like two additional level ups and and some items is my defense goes up but my intelligence goes way down but I don't use magic really so um what was my point oh yeah uh, AJ is going to DM when it's my vampires turn and we have this whole thing planned out uh, I would spoil stuff on here. I don't have enough. That would be a podcast. We have done so much. And with all these characters. And everyone is like into the story. Like hardcore. Uh, except Sarah. Because she's new. She's This is like her first D&D &D thing experience ever. Uh, so she's not quite as into like the deets as much. Which is 100% fine. I was the same way. Uh, I had to learn the game before I could, like, really get into it. And I expected that, and I am fine with that. She's more just, like, along for the ride. And then when uh, an important member of the the cast and crew can't make it, like, let's say for whatever reason, Michaela had to uh, back out of a session, like, uh, schoolwork. She's had to do that once or twice. We don't play the one with Don Ray and Fade and Xyrathene, and, 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 and the, we call it the main campaign. We play the side campaign, which started in Gregor's Grotto, and then... Uh, one of my characters from Dimitri's campaign they ran into is like a cameo because I wanted them to meet him. He's an asshole pirate. Um, and uh, left Gregor's Grotto, went into Candlekeep, and that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I've been talking about D&D &D for 10 minutes. If I don't stop, I'm gonna go. Mm. I like this. I'm just sort of like chilling, playing an old Castlevania game. You bitch. I jumped into it, not away from it. Did I get um, any type of... Uh... No, just antidotes. Good. Hopefully I do more than 13 damage this time, yeah? Maybe like 18 or 20, that'd be nice. Alright, come on, you bitch. 
Whoa, leveling up is kind of big in this game. Like, you get substantial boost from each level. That's like double damage right there. Aha! That's even almost doubled. Gonna go right for me, yep. I didn't see how much damage he did. That used to be 30, I think that was a 25 I saw. You're gonna die, bitch. Oh, 13 and not, what, fifth, fifth, what was it before? Everything, yeah! I got an achievement. Nice. Do I get a item drop, or is that is this one of the Castlevanias that don't give you an item? I don't think you get one. Na 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 na. -na. Double? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've never made it here. I don't think. I'm gonna have to dig out my old Circle of the Moon and like boot it up and see where I was back in 2007. <laughs> It's 2021, almost 2022, and I'm talking about what I was doing in 2007. 2007 feels like it's four years ago. I'm like perma stuck in 2011. Don't know what that's about. Where are we at? Oh, oh wait, there's a door down here that I believe I needed the double jump for. Oh, no, I just didn't go down here because I didn't know what was down here. That's right. So this could have actually been the answer to my problems. Something tells me cotton clothes aren't going to be as good as a leather chest plate. Just a hunch. Holy water? New area? Wow. <gasps> I know this place. Oh, I'm interested now. Oh, hey. You died quick. Were you supposed to? I'm always afraid I get over-leveled, because Symphony of the Night is much... It is my absolute most favorite game of all time. Symphony of the Night, you can get overpowered pretty pretty easy if you know what to do. Like, that game... I haven't, I haven't died in Symphony of the Night in... Holy shit. Probably... Oh, God, I don't even remember the last time I died in Symphony. Yo, you know what? Richter. I've died as Richter fairly, fairly recently. Like, within the last year. I play Symphony, like, once every, like, two, three months. And I have for years, and I will continue to do so. I, I enjoy it. It's like a three-hour experience. Like, once every three months. So I dedicate, like, nine hours a year. Oh, that's not much. I should play more. What is that? What am I supposed to do with that? What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, good. I need that. Yeah, bitch. Magnets. My wife works for like another four and a half hours. I'm thinking I might be able to finish this and then just have an entire game to edit. 
Who knows? Maybe. I might just do that with all three games. Four games. There's four Dracula X's on here. I don't know how I feel about Dracula X. I don't think many people know how to feel about Dracula X, to be honest. Uh, but that's okay. Arya's on here. And I know Dawn of Sorrow's not... Or uh, is it the other way? Which one's on here? I can't... I can always mix the two up. Either Dawn of Sorrow's on here and Arya's not. I'm pretty sure Arya's on here and Sorrow's not. Or, 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 you know what I'm trying to say. Arya's on here, I believe. And Dawn is not. Um, and I know, I know they're released. One of them is on the Game Boy. And one of them is on the DS. But how do you release one without the other? You can't tell me you can't just put both screens on top of the other. I have a bootleg, like, um... It's not a bootleg. I don't even think that term is relevant these days. But, like, an emulator. Like, this, like, shitty little emulator. And I've emulated, uh... I'm in a new area already? Uh, I've emulated uh, Portrait of Ruin, which is another Castlevania game I will be playing on the channel. Sooner rather than later, I'm, I might get back into, like, trying to actually power through the Castlevania series a bit, because... I've said it before on the channel, and I'll I'll say it until I'm done with it. I want to play every Castlevania game all the way through on this channel, eventually. Over the course of years, of course. Um, wow, there's a lot of bad things happening in front of me. All because I wanted to go over here. Oh, I can't. But I'll go through this. What the hell is up with these doors, bruh? Um... What was the point of talking? Oh, yeah. The DS uh, Castlevania games. I'm not 100% sure how to record them. Unless I emulate them. Now, I own them. So, it's not like that theft. Like, I I feel like if you own the game, you should be able to emulate it so you can play it easier. As long as you own it. It's not really, like, theft. Because you paid for it. But if they were to re-release it, like this, for instance. A Game Boy emulator would now be a little bit more of a... a no no so to speak because like well no you can't just get it and play it on the pc now all you need is a controller and you're good to go so i wouldn't emulate this because i'd rather just do it officially i have no problem giving up 20 bucks to konami because i adore what hold up I am never going in there. That's... That's not Dracula. We're... 13% into this game. There is no freaking way. I've never been here, so I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I whatever roadblock I hit as a kid, I've already done past it already. And now I'm stronger, even. I feel like I'm getting too strong. Should I be leveling up this quick? Am I underleveled? I don't know. Woohoo! Ow. You know, I would like the cross. The cross sub weapon. I don't know where to get that. Nice! Holy water for the win. Holy water's always been the best. Ah! Shit. It's fine. Everything's fine. I haven't done much of import in this episode, really. I didn't mean to slide, but it worked. Whoa! Whack. 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 Okay, I want to fill this room first. Whack. 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 Oh, goody. Oh, it still goes up. I can't get up there, though, without going up and around. Okay. So I might actually go... Oh, should I go back, though? Because I didn't finish back there, but there's... There's at least one direction going this way. I'm gonna... How, what percentage are we at? 15? I don't know 
know how many videos this is gonna be. Anywhere from like 10 to 12. I need some content. Uh, easy, easily edited content because uh, I don't have a lot of spare time right now. Work has been insane and uh, I just need rest. I have not rested or taken care of myself when it comes to rest in a long time. And I'm trying to do that. So if I can get something that I can just pop into editing make sure everything looks clean and then just render it and it only takes like 15 minutes per video that would be like I, I need a series like that right now so I can consistently have videos to upload and also not have to do too much to them because I'm picking up any hours I can uh, working through lunch here and there uh, we're getting ready to move out and I want to make sure we have enough to do so we've already budgeted we can easily like make this the, the whole thing work but like the more cash we got going into it the better so I'm gonna make sure that my wife and I have enough cash to do whatever it is we want to do so things have been a little tiresome lately I'm, I'm quite tired I haven't been able to um oh and then DMing a, a seven person homebrew campaign that takes a lot of time and then hanging out with friends all the time there's a lot that goes into life bro no one told me about that when I signed up for all this. Where am I going? I'm just sort of just scaling this castle, bro. Will-O-Wisp? Those are D&D enemies. Well, I mean, I'm sure. I have not found a another broken wall in a while, though. Oof. That's suspicious. Why is that like that? Ow, that was my own fault. No disrespect to the axe, but holy water be superior. Ow. Brain float. I wonder what my percentage would be on the map. If I've gotten all the secrets that have been gettable up to this point, I will go back and get them all, as I, I, I always do with these with these the Metroidvania Castlevania games. Nice! Another level up? I'm starting to think this is getting broken. Oh my goodness. I'm liking this. Now I'm gonna, like, find a boss, and he's gonna, like, beat the living piss out of me. Cool! I didn't do anything really of import this episode, but we're, we're moving forward. Um, so be sure to check in for the next one, because I want to see you there.